Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the first two episodes of CBS's Ghosts, which as you know is the American remake of one of our favourite shows here, BBC's Ghosts. Kind of controversial among like UK viewers because it doesn't really seem necessary, but it's been made and the first two episodes have come out and I thought it would be good to kind of share my opinions on just kind of like the first impressions of CBS's ghosts um, and then when all the episodes are out I might do a full review and see whether or not it is a good remake and whether or not it's a good show. So I will split this video up so we'll have an overview of the first two episodes first, obviously there will be spoilers, um, then I'll do the parts that I thought were quite good, the parts that I didn't like and then kind of the reception that we've seen in America to see how well it's doing over there because that's the main point really isn't it? So yeah let's just get straight into it. So the first two episodes are pretty much identical to the first two episodes of the UK version which I was kind of expecting because it is a remake and those two episodes in the UK show set up the show very well. So yeah, it's very, I'm not that mad that the first two episodes are exactly the same because it is kind of necessary for them to be unless they changed the way that the show happens. Um, so yeah, that's kind of understandable. So we've got Sam, who is the American Allison, and then Jay, who is the American Mike. And they inherit a house, well, Sam inherits a house, and they are kind of struggling to decide whether or not they convert it into a B&B &B or whether they sell it uh, and use that money to buy a better house in New York, which is where they're from. We're also introduced to the ghosts who don't want there to be a B&B &B in the house, but are kind of interested in having Sam and Jay live there. And they try haunt haunting them so that, you know, they don't want to make a B&B &B there. And in an accident, Sam falls down the stairs and suffers a head injury which forces her into a coma and she dies for three minutes and when they come back there, Jay has decided that they will go for the B&B &B option which is what Sam wanted and then she starts to see ghosts and the ghosts, she, the same kind of way with that we have with Alison and Mike is Mike's trying to convince her that it's a result of her head injury um, and then the ghosts decide that they're going to annoy her and just pester her until she acknowledges them so that they can work out kind of what's going to happen with the B&B &B because they don't want a B&B &B. so they want to kind of negotiate and their way of doing it is to annoy her uh, which again we see in the UK version. So yeah pretty much identical to the UK one with a few changes which we'll get into a bit later on whether I liked those changes or not. So yeah what did I like about this show? Now surprising which may be surprising I actually kind of enjoyed the first two episodes Obviously, there was that kind of glaring issue that it was a remake, but I thought it was pretty decent. Um, so, first of all, the characters are interesting. I was, yeah, I was invested in a lot of the characters, so that's really good. I like a lot of the new ones that were introduced, who obviously do take influence from the UK original, but they do it in kind of, they mix it up a little bit. So, I would say the best example of this is Flower, who is the hippie, and she is obviously influenced by Kitty. She is quite needy, um, a little bit annoying to some characters, and quite naive, but she is like distinct from Kitty because she isn't like childlike, she's just constantly high because she died high, so... Uh, yeah, so she's, that's kind of the what makes her that naive, kind of like ditzy character is because she's constantly high rather than Kitty who is because she's, you know, quite childlike, which is quite good. Uh, I liked Flower's probably one of my favourite characters in the show. I thought she was really funny. She's made, yeah, she makes quite a lot of funny remarks, um, which, yeah, I was a fan of. And again, Thorfinn, who is the Viking, is obviously their version of Robin. Obviously with Robin, he's made to be super smart. You know, it makes sense because he's lived, well, been around for the longest. So it kind of makes sense that he's the smartest. But with Thorfinn, they haven't gone down that route. They have instead made him kind of very, not angry, but kind of like very insistent on war, which is quite fun. And also he's very like conscious um, of, so he gets annoyed when people like litter and stuff like that. Um, he likes things to be kind of in order. So yeah, I, I think the characters are quite interesting. Trevor, I was expecting to hate <laughs> based on the description because I never really like kind of like fraternity, you know, that kind of presentation of men in films I, and, and TV. I find that kind of character very annoying, but with Trevor, I actually quite liked him. Um, I thought he would be a bit annoying and 
bit douchey and it kind of is but like it's done in a good way I would say you know he obviously wants to be kind of like the cool one but yeah he also like faces the consequences of things because he's the one that accidentally kills well almost like yeah yeah kills Sam because he's so desperate to try and touch like and move this vase that he's focusing on it so much and then it falls and that's what uh, uh, Sam trips over and he feels really guilty about that and he makes a lot of funny jokes about like oh I wouldn't intentionally kill someone that pretty and he's the one that is infatuated with Sam like how Thomas is infatuated uh, with Alison so yeah there's that comparison as well and I do think some of the original jokes they have gone with um, do work quite well um, there was one especially with the <laughs> there's one with the vase where he is you know he's trying to knock down the vase and uh, Pete who is Pat uh, is like oh I always said vase and I, I don't know why it was just like a one like quick like little remark and I just found that quite funny I thought it was you know that kind of sarcastic humor that we see in a lot of American sitcoms that I quite like I got on with very well I like that kind of humor um and the captain guy Isaac I think his name is does it he kind of gets really annoyed at the fact that Alexander Hamilton became famous and is kind of like renowned for what he did in the Ind war of independence so he um yeah he makes Trevor like search him up uh, like Alexander Hamilton finds out that he's on the ten dollar bill and that he's had a musical made about him and he's very annoyed at that <laughs> and I think it's a good way of linking the like historical ghosts to like modern day pop culture which yeah I think that's a really good idea and one of the things they do with Sam is Sam's career she, she's a freelance writer so one of the compromises they make at the end of the second episode is to write his biography which I think is a really great way of getting them chatting to the ghosts and learning more about them um, I think that's a really good idea and they've also got Sassapith but yeah he is a Native American and actually played by a Native American actor, uh, which I think is great. And again, with Isaac, he's actually played by a gay man. So it's just nice that we've got a gay man playing a gay man rather than a straight man. Yes, yeah, so it's Aspis, the actor is Native American and they make jokes about land being stolen and he wants his compromise to be that his land is given back to the Native Americans. And it's not too kind of hard hitting and like too in your face kind of p political aspects to it. It's just kind of, sarcastic jokes and also I like the fact that they are addressing it yeah I think it's just a good way to draw attention to it and also address it without it being too kind of in your face it's just funny and you're like yep it should be given back also he's really an interesting character because they've made him a gossip and he also talks about he talks about how he likes to like start rumors about people because it's just the one thing that entertains himself because uh, he's been there for so long. I also really like the relationship between Sam and Jay. I love that they kept the like wholesome, just the wholesome relationship that we got from the original. I like that's been transferred to the remake because that was one of the best parts. It was so refreshing to see such like a healthy relationship. And I definitely feel like we've got that in the remake as well. I think I would like the characters to be a bit more fleshed out. Um, but again, it's just the first two episodes. So I'm hoping that they do, but they do seem... Uh, this goes for like every character. Oh, th this is just being the stuff that I... Uh, like the critical bit. But yeah, I feel like they should be a bit fleshed out. But I think the core of everything is quite good. Yeah, no, they love each other. They work hard for each other. They, yeah, they disagree, but then they come to like solutions and compromises. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a great thing to carry over. And I think I mentioned this in kind of when the trailer is released and all the information about the remake was released. But I like that they have careers and that we know a bit more about their background because we know that Jay is a chef and that Sam is a freelance writer. So I like that we've got that that can be used in the show. Whereas in the original, we don't know what Mike and Allison did before moving into the house we don't know what their careers were or their like ambitions we just know that they now own a house so yeah I think that's a great thing I think it's a really good addition to the show and they've made Sam the more impulsive one uh instead of Mike like or Jay being the most impulsive one which again I think it's quite a good idea I think it would work quite well for like her interactions with the ghosts that we might see in the future I think yeah, because she's the one that wants to move into the house. She's straight away wanting to go, st start painting and working out the ideas, whereas it was Mike in the first one that kind of got a bit ahead of himself. That's pretty much everything I liked. 
Um, I did enjoy it um, overall. There were some parts where I did feel like it was a bit too, like not great, which we'll get onto now. Um, but overall, there was a good mix of emotion as well. Emotion and comedy, they've kept that in as well. There are some kind of like emotional darker parts in it, which um, I wasn't really expecting, but I think they did it quite well. Now, what didn't I like? So the main issue for me with this remake is that it's too fast paced and this isn't necessarily the fault of the program makers. It's because it's gone to a channel that has adverts that needs advertising to fund the shows. So the program is only 22 minutes long compared to half an hour uh, that we get with the British one. So it's losing eight minutes of time. Yeah, again, it's not really their fault, but I feel like it could have done with maybe getting into a 40 minute slot um, to kind of make it around half an hour. Um, I don't know if that America tends to do like 40 minute slots or anything like that. I know in the UK it's kind of like 30 minutes on the BBC or maybe like an hour. The biggest example of this is that we don't see Sam and Jay looking around at houses or what the house looked like before, just to kind of show a comparison of like what they're going to. Like they talk about um, living in like a box room, but I think it'd be interesting to see like the upgrade that they're getting from the space they had before to the space they, they've got now. So with Alison and Mike, we saw them looking at houses and then being presented with this big house. I feel like it would have made their kind of motivations of wanting to stay and turn, in, turn it into a and b a lot stronger um, because we literally just see them inherit the house at like the office. Like they are just presented the house and it's like, oh, this is the house that we're inheriting. And I feel like it would have benefited from a more lead up to the fact that they're inheriting the house which I can understand cutting out that bit to you know just kind of get more interactions with the ghost in the first episode but yeah I didn't like that they were just presented with it at the, at the start because yeah it just kind of I feel like we lost some of the like motivations behind the character's decisions like why Sam really wanted to move into this house and turn it into a and b I feel like if we had seen her house maybe seen a bit of her career maybe the hustle and bustle of New York City that she is obviously a bit fed up with if we'd seen that and then she's presented with this lovely countryside mansion I feel like we would have seen kind of why she would want it so much more than perhaps Jay would if he's if he likes the big city like energy and stuff so yeah that's my first complaint and I definitely feel like we see this a lot more as well like I feel like the haunting scenes seemed a bit shorter than the ones in the UK one and same with them like annoying her I definitely I feel like it was a bit more condensed oh yeah in addition to that we also didn't get a like a title sequence it was literally just ghosts with like a background picture and like a little mug moving and I love the title sequence that we get in the British one. It's a shame we didn't get that um, in the US one but it makes sense if they want to save some time. Another big thing is that I think they lack subtlety which I'm not really surprised at because <laughs> that is a thing that British comedy and British shows tend to do a lot more especially yeah like British comedy shows tend to use a lot more of whereas in America their comedy shows are a lot more kind of obvious in your face which is a shame um, because I do think it could have been bit more toned down in certain areas so obviously I talked about the fact that Isaac is gay and it took me a f like like three quarters through the first like two episodes to realize that he's not out but I thought he was because in the UK one the captain it's kind of like he will say certain things he will look a certain way and the only things that you notice if you're looking at him in that scene or like you catch it you know making a joke about, like her, like Dorothy like going oh Dorothy like when you hear that you don't really think much of it but then when you realize that a friend of Dorothy meant like a gay man you you know it's more like hints at it rather than just so obvious that we get with Isaac if that makes sense and yeah because I thought he was like out I thought that was where we were going with it and I thought it was a nice change but no he's not and it's like I get what you're trying to do, but just tone it back a bit. Some of the innuendos were quite funny, um, and I liked that he seemed oblivious to what he was saying, but it wasn't oblivious to anybody else. And I feel like it should be one of those things that you get suspicions about. And yeah, certain things with like the, again with Isaac as well. I don't think Isaac definitely is one of the weakest characters for me um, in this series. So he also, he died of dysentery. Um, and so obviously when a human walks through him instead of smelling like smoke, I can, you can gather what he smells of. And it's just a bit crude um, and just unnecessary, I think. It was done a lot better than I thought it would from the trailer. But yeah, I'm still not a big fan of that change. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's not for me at all. <laughs> so another thing I wasn't a fan of was the fact that they 
kind of don't follow the show don't tell rule in that you use in filmmaking and it's the idea that if you want to you know get across a, a fact you show it rather than telling it and so there's a couple of examples of this so we've got um flower so flower died of a bear attack now they could just not tell us that and have the, the best like scratch marks and claw marks sorry more visible because they've just got one on her shoulder they could have had it go like across her chest or like have a couple maybe a bit on her face so that we as an audience can gather she's been in a bear attack that's how she died um but no she literally says i was killed by a bear i was high like we know exactly what her death was like uh it's talked about a few times we know that she was high wandered into um the grounds of the manor and tried to befriend a bear tried to give it a hug and it killed her so we know that already and it's like you could have just showed us that like because yeah just showed like the claw marks on her body it would have been a nice thing for kind of people to work out themselves and link into this is that i think there's no like mystery to the ghosts that we have in the uk one a lot of the like we only kind of knew a few of the ghosts deaths and from like the first two episodes like pat obviously we know about pat because <laughs> he's got an arrow through his neck we don't need him to tell us that he's been shot by an arrow because we can see that there is an arrow through his neck and with okay um yeah so thorfinn can also control lights like robin does so instead of leaving that you know showing that he can control the lights and leaving us to kind of guess why he can and work out why he can use the lights they just tell us he can control the lights because he was struck by lightning so, yep yeah, so that's a that's a theory that people came up with themselves when watching the uk ghosts and seeing what robin can do and thinking he's been struck by lightning and like i kind of think he has been now now that the us ghost has said it because he is kind of copied from robin we are just told too much about the ghosts like the ghosts death as well i feel like they should just kind of show us more about their personality maybe hint about what they got up to in their lives like i think again trevor is again a better example of most of the characters like they've told us that he we hear about his life a bit more um, and we haven't heard anything about his death. I imagine it's going to be very similar to Julian's death, but we haven't heard anything about his death. And again, with uh, Alberta, she's the Prohibition uh, like lounge singer, and we're told she had a heart attack. But then they are introducing a little bit of a mystery about because she thinks she was murdered, and I hope they take that further and they actually do a backstory. And I feel like with her story, we could definitely do it like... Uh, Thomas's one yeah they can tell a story in pieces and have it like a murder mystery and we try and figure out in an episode like how she died like was she murdered or was it literally a heart attack so yeah there is potential in some of the characters for us to be surprised um but yeah I hate that we've had some of them just straight away just told to us um I think that's really annoying <laughs> and obviously something I don't like is the fact that there is a lot of copied material from the original again i think it was kind of expected but i definitely think it could be improved in the future i like that they have changed some things but there are some scenes that are pretty much like word for word from the original and you, you could like mix it up you know change up the dialogue a bit yeah and it just kind of lacks that charm that the original has at least for me anyway like for me the uk one was kind of just like instant heartwarming and yeah just wonderful whereas this one again it could be because i've seen the the first one and it is a remake to me it doesn't initially have that kind of draw to it like i enjoyed it but it's not like how ghost was to me where it's like i must watch everything about this and I'm, I'm falling in love with it immediately whereas this it's kind of like it's good but it could be kind of improved upon Again, with potential, one thing I will say is that they are doing a Halloween episode, which I think is a missed opportunity for the U UK one. Like, I know Halloween is a much bigger thing in America, um, so maybe that's why it hasn't been done in the UK, but a Halloween episode could be so good. Like, there's nothing in the episode description so far. I think we've got a dinner party episode, which I imagine will be quite similar to the dinner party one we had in the UK one. And the other one is that they find some of, like, Thorfinn's bones on the prop on like the property which i think that could be quite interesting that plot line so they definitely are going towards creating more original plots and i think if they do get renewed for a second series i think they definitely have potential to create more plots just just don't copy anything anymore from the original they've got the setup and they've got the general you know they've got the themes and and that kind of thing 
Um, but now just distance yourself, just don't copy anything. So how has it been received in America? Thankfully, it's been doing very well in America, which is the main point. They're the target audience, they're the ones that the show has been made for, not for us. <laughs> they don't care if we like it because it's for American viewers. So yeah, it's been very positively received in America. So I saw that it's been given an average rating of 7 out of 10, which I think is pretty good for a pilot episode and for like a remake as well. So I think that's pretty good. Um, and on Rotten Tomatoes, as of making this video, it had been given a 100% approval rating with an average rating of, again, around 7 out of 10. Everybody likes it. Like, they obviously don't think it's the best, but everybody likes it. Obviously, it's received very mixed reviews in the UK. I personally went into it not really expecting anything. I tried to go into it as neutral as possible and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I wasn't, obviously there were parts that annoyed me and that I didn't like, but overall I thought it was pretty decent. And I know some people are really like going hard on it and saying it's like the worst remake ever made. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> there are worse ones than this. And I think it's done a decent job and I am gonna watch every episode that they make. And yeah, I've seen people have different complaints to what I do, some people, really don't like the main two characters. Um, they think they're quite hollow. I personally like them. I think they're pretty decent. Oh, a lot of people are like going on about the fact that they've called it an original comedy, which, or like a CBS original. And yeah, that does annoy me too, but they do credit it in the intro. They say like, uh, like based on the UK sitcom Ghost or something like that. So it is credited, um, the original. So that is good. But yeah, no, I, yeah, it's stupid that they're calling themselves an original show when it is quite literally a remake. But I think a lot of people are prejudging it without actually watching it or going into it wanting to hate it, which I think is what's making them hate it. Like, it, yeah, we're always going to like the original. That's undeniable because it's the show that we initially fell in love with. But yeah, they've done a good job. American viewers are loving it. So yeah, I think it's a success. I just hope that it moves away from the from the original and just fleshes out its characters a bit more. I think that's the main thing. Flesh out the characters, make them, you know, more kind of whole and with more kind of like motivations and stuff like that. I think that's their main issue, apart from like the timings and the fast pacedness uh, of it. Um, again, not really their fault, but I still don't like it. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. It's much appreciated. And yeah, comment down below if you've seen it, what you liked about it and if you what you didn't like about it. Uh, I'll be very interested to hear your opinions. Because uh, yeah, I've seen very, very, very mixed opinions. And if you want to see more videos to do with like, ghosts and other UK TV shows, then give me a subscribe and I'll have more videos out for you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.